Also, my register my gratitude to the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, for assenting to the bill that turned this institution to a national institution and by implication <laughs> setting the pace for the historical development of this institution. I also want to register my appreciation to the Senate President, who you are told was, at the time he was the leader of the Senate, he moved, or he was instrumental to passing of this bill that saw the renaming of this institution to a national institution or institute. My appreciation also goes to his colleagues in the Senate and counterparts in the House of Reps. Ironically, the two of them, they are the Speaker and the Senate President, they are all leaders when we met or we approached them on the need for this institution to be recognized as a national institute. My chairman of the House of Reps, who is the chairman of the Security and Intelligence Committee, Landry Mashidi, representing the chairman, is our own. He is part and parcel of the SSS. And today, he has been here. And he has been supportive in filing the case of the service at the, at the House of Reps. He is a two-time member of the House of Reps. In the same vein, may I express my gratitude to my royal father, my Emir, and a father. I congratulate you for coming here and having passed through our institute. I'm sure the Institute must have passed through your brains also. <laughs> we are very proud of you, and my advice is the sky is the limit. <laughs> but you should know one thing, that having succeeded in this course, in human life, there are two challenges. Challenges of success and challenges of maintaining that success. As you go back to your places of uh, uh, work, the expectations from your management are always very high. And you have to give a very good account of yourselves that you came, you saw, and you have conquered. And that is why you are a fellow of this institute. You should know that the action agencies are eager or waiting for your input in driving their operations whether at ministerial level or operational level as security and law enforcement agencies. I wish you success. <laughs> On the theme of this course, which the commandant has already mentioned, we decided to choose that theme and 
God willing, the recent closure of our borders attest to what we intend to achieve. Uh, despite the criticisms, the closure of our borders so far have succeeded in checkmating not only smuggle of goods that are illegally brought into this country, but even firearms, and then checkmating the movement of people that are likely to undermine the security of this country. So we commended all the participants in this operation and we commended the CNC for approving that initiative. Thank you. Sir. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me just tell you that what we witnessed today is part of knowledge. And like the former president of India said, knowledge is the emerging currency of the world in the present century. Without knowledge, you can't do anything. And that knowledge is referring to intelligence. You have to utilize intelligence in all your human endeavor. Even in social life, you want marry, you don't just go into the market without knowing who your spouse is. You want to go into operations, you don't just go into that operation carrying your people into a known destination without assessing the situation very well. Knowledge is what we for sure here. Without knowledge, you can't do anything. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. It is with knowledge that you can be able to develop. It is with knowledge you can achieve the sense of McNamara, that security is nothing but development. And that development will only come through knowledge. The knowledge you acquired, you have to put it into practice. And what we are after here is proactiveness. Some people used to assess security and law enforcement agencies based on arrest. But, as we said in the security parlance, arrest is not the end of anything you do to stabilize a situation. Your effectiveness or the effectiveness of any security and law enforcement agencies is the ability to stabilize a situation. You can arrest thousands of people, hundreds of them. If you are not able to stabilize that situation, that effectiveness is not in you. And this is what this institute emphasizes on. Effectiveness, knowledge, and commitment. Loyalty. This is what Sanzu said. If you fight and win a war, it's not an excellence of skills. You fight and win a war when you subdue your opponent without a fight. That is the skills of fighting. You fight, you win. It's not an excellence of skills. 
but you subdue your opponent through knowledge, through number six. That's the excellence of skills. And that is what we always emphasize. In the SSS, we are turning a new leaf. Our operations must be intelligence driven. You don't have to see us, but you can hear of us. If you look at me, I'm very conservative. But I always said, we are supposed to be hard, not seen. But by seeing me here, maybe that's the opportunity you have. <laughs> Distinguished graduates, I will assure you that on part of our service and the management, we are going to do everything possible to develop this institute. We have started with the development of the infrastructure and then the quality of the members of the faculty. I commend you because what you see today is the product of what they gave the society. I was a witness to their presentation and I commended them for that. Thank you very much and God bless you.